get stuck in. All right, everybody, let's dig in. It is time to get started. I'm super excited for this campaign. Very curious to see how it goes. I do not have any confidence we will get to Berlin or anywhere close to that. But let's click new game and get going here. So we are playing Allied Forces, as I mentioned before. We're going to start here in 1940. We've got the Allies. It will take us all the way through to 1945 if things go well. Uh, it starts off very easy, actually. So despite kind of the nervousness of a first battle here, these first couple of battles should go pretty easy. We're going to take the Colonel difficulty, which is the middle difficulty level. I'm going to leave weather on. Of course, I'm going to leave supply, which basically means that troops can run out of ammunition and fuel. And then I'm going to leave fog of war in. So that means we have limited visibility. We can't see beyond our troops. I'm going to leave undo on. It's because it's really easy to click on the wrong things. It's, However, it's not an undo that allows you. You can't undo it if the movement or the action led to combat or led you into something that you didn't see before. So it's a very limited undo. And with that, it actually makes sense. It's, it's, not, it's not a cheat kind of undo thing in any sense of the way. So I'm going to leave those settings on. And... Um, here we go. We should get a briefing here for the first one. It is the 11th of June, 1940. Um, this is rather long. I'm going to kind of just click through this, but basically it's kind of what I mentioned in the earlier part of the, the scenario here where our mission basically is to cut behind Italian lines. The Italians are massing in Libya. They're going to attack Egypt. Uh, the Allies, we have been on the defensive for pretty much the whole war, and we really need some kind of victories to try to turn it around. So we have been given forces to go beyond and to behind enemy lines and try to destroy as many convoys as we can. Now, this will be our first taste of battle, but it should go, fingers crossed, it should go fairly easy. This, again, the game kind of designs this as a tutorial to teach you how to move and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. It doesn't, it's going to be a couple, kind of a couple battles before we start to, to run into some challenges, I hope. If we screw this up, that would be pretty embarrassing. So we've got clear weather. Uh, the forecast is for clear and dry weather. It is the desert, of course, so that makes sense. And here are two different types of victory conditions. We can get a victory by destroying at least three trucks from the supply convoy. We can get a triumph or decisive victory by destroying all nine trucks from the supply convoy. And let's take a look at our battle situation here. Now, we are these three units on the south. We have these uh, Rolls-Royce armored cars and some Vickers 6 lights tanks down here on the left. Then we have the Rolls-Royce armored cars up here and the Rolls-Royce armored cars. So these are the Allied forces. These are the Italian convoys, which are our first three targets. So... Our goal really would be move up, attack these, try to destroy these, and, and take them out here. Now, on the side here, just, well, let's let's get this going here. So, very simply put, I think we're just going to roll these Vickers tanks right down onto the road here, set them up, and if I hover over this, this shows the, the expected result. It's... Um, a lot of times the expected result isn't what happens. Uh, I've learned that already from playing the two scenarios, the two kind of tutorial scenarios. Uh, we're expected to just completely wipe out this truck convoy, which has a strength of five, has a, a five force factors, and we are expected to take no losses. So let's see what happens here. There we go. Boom! Our first casualties. Now, if we hover over this Vickers 6 unit, we can see over here on the side, if I click on it here, I can hover over this little symbol on the right-hand side, which shows that it's got experience of 20. And you can get all the way up to five stars of experience because these units will carry with us through the whole campaign unless we, they get completely destroyed and wiped out. They'll carry with us uh, for the whole campaign. Speaking of which, I wanted to mention too, if anybody would like to command one of these units, put your name down in the comments below. If you want to take anything, I'll just stick you on the first available one. If you want a particular type of unit like armor or these armored cars, infantry, paratroopers, and things like that, let me know. The more specific you ask, the longer the wait may be because we may not even have paratroopers for a long, long time. But I can do an alt n here and i think click on that and yes and i can rename these units so i will name them after you and you'll be in charge now a unit might morph over the battle too so we might turn some tanks i think i'm not quite sure how this works but i think you can turn like armor into planes and things like that depending on you can reconstitute the forces I'm not quite sure how that all works but we'll figure it out but anyway the idea would be to put you in charge so get a little bit of kind of skin in the game and a taste and maybe tell the story of your unit could you in turn end up being a historical leader that takes their troops to incredible glory so these vickers sixes uh these vicar six tanks are up for grabs and feel free to grab those if you would like let's uh, do this so this one here we see this little red icon they are out of fuel already they went out for a drive in the desert and didn't bring enough gas but uh that's their problem let's go let's 
let's split the difference here and let's see if we can wipe these guys out without any gas nice oh we are off to a good start um i have to test this the sound and everything like that to make sure everything's right i actually played this a couple times and a lot of times you don't get the five so we're doing pretty well here in this this real test now let's bring our other uh, armored car up here beside our vicar six and that should take us to the end of the first turn uh so far so good we've wiped out two trucks already we are almost guaranteed oh this is nice so what can happen is if you run into a unit that you didn't see, so that truck just came plowing down the highway, drivers weren't paying attention, and you could see that little ambush sign flash up. So we ambushed that unit doing even more damage. And ambushes can be deadly. I've seen that just in kind of playing a couple of test scenarios here. So already we are almost close to the victory condition. So yay us. We've got turn two of 12 to see if we can wipe out the rest, but there are definitely more coming. I like the idea of sitting these units on the road because it does seem like these Italian trucks are just coming plowing down the highway as fast as they can with all caution thrown to the wind here. So let's just, uh, let's see if we can get some of this tank a little bit more experience here. Nice, another kill for it. Wiped out the remnants of that. Let's push forward because we don't want anyone to slip behind us here. So the, the further to the east we engage them, I think the better likelihood we'll have that no one gets by. Let's push. I'm afraid there might actually. Oh, I can see that too, right? So let, there won't be anything there. So let's go up there. Good. Okay. So we're pushing forward. Let's end our second turn. So far, so good. Nice. Ambush this truck. Oh, for massive six damage. Our forces are doing well. The second and third truck saw the ambush and trying to reroute their way around it. We now have a victory at least. Let's drive on for more. Oh, we should be able to finish that off. And let's push these up. Let's see, that gives us a five. Yeah, let's just take this guy out. Let's kill him off. Nice. A Rolls Royce armored car doing well. Our first battle is going swimmingly. Let's send the Vickers tanks up into the desert to try to flatten these trucks out. Nice. Heavy casualties. Our troops are doing really well. This is a good performance. And let's send the armored car. Now, we can also see here, if we hover over on the right, uh, we have... Oh, we've got seven of eight, it looks like. Seven of six. I guess we are overstocked for ammunition, perhaps. And we are not entrenched. We've got plenty of fuel, and we still are at 10 of 10th, which is full strength. Let's take that truck out. Nice, another five hits. So we are pummeling the Italians in our morning raid here on the 11th of June. Let's end that turn. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, okay. We're going to take our first casualties here. Yes, we have taken some casualties. So our armored car has been hit by this car coming down here. And they kind of put a little bit of a hurt on us here. Let's, I want to, let's see, if we go there, it's gonna be a three to one. What would this look like? Uh, two to one. So our armored car is stronger than this Vickers tank. So let's send the Vickers tank to finish off this truck here. We can, excellent, good. We wiped that one out. So another unit, and let's send this full strength armored car on this convoy escort Ooh, taking more casualties darn it and he's stubborn he's only taken one hit let's uh now ah, we got to do it let's, oh, we're losing troops here the the problem with this is that it costs prestige so in the, if you're not familiar with the game in the top right hand corner here you see prestige we have a prestige of 200 there are no uh, victory markers or points, so we're not gaining any prestige. So that is what we've got. Reinforcements and resupply of your units cost you prestige. And so this one of the facet, one of the aspects of the game is being able to manage your prestige economy, if you would, to make sure you don't run out of that. So the fact that we've lost four points of prestige across these two units is actually not very good. I wish we could have taken out that unit uh, without suffering any damage. Uh, that takes us. So the end here, everybody's attacked. Let's, we could move forward. Let's actually do that because I don't want them to resupply. And if you're next to them, I think they're limited to how much they can resupply. So let's end our turn there. Yeah, see that armored car resupplied, it's back up to a three. And, uh, but because we were next to it, it couldn't resupply significantly. Turn five, getting interesting. We lost track of that truck. Ah, oh, we're losing containment here. This is bad, so let's, Go down here. There it is. Oh, we got lucky. Nice. Let's finish that off. Lose it. Good. So that one's gone. 
let's see if we can let's see how this battle goes here with the armored car because we really do want to take this out that's really the only thing that can hurt us minus two nice drove it back let's stick let's go over here stay close to this truck and then let's send this one here to see if we can finish this guy off definitely want to get rid of that armored car there it goes nice Good kill for us. No casualties suffered. Now we can keep control of these two trucks here. Maybe if we get lucky, this truck will crash right into our Vickers tank and we can ambush it here. Let's end our turn. How are we doing here? Oh, it didn't make it. So three trucks left. Is that... I, I lost count of how many we destroyed. Did we destroy six or not? I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it. Math skills. All right. Let's... But well, we've got soft targets here now. So let's, of course, pull this up here. See if we can do some damage on these trucks. Good. Four damage. That's excellent. Let's see if we can finish this one off. Because this guy might run into an ambush. Good. That truck's finished off. Our forces are kicking butt here now. Let's actually back up one and see if it's dumb enough to walk into an ambush. And let's chase this one from the side up here. Let's see if we can start putting the hurt on this guy. Good. Oh, minus six. Wiped it out. This Vickers, which one is this? 11th Hussars A has been a stud. He's already up to 102 experience. He's gained a star. Very, very nice. Let's end this turn. Things are going outside of those casualties. Yes, the truck ran into an ambush. We wiped it out. Is that the end? There it is. I th oh, wait. Turn 7 of 12. Is it still going on? It is. So there must be more coming. So let's... Oh, we're almost out of ammo. Let's... What do we got? Oh, we are out of ammo. So let's resupply. There's a button over here. Supply unit, fuel plus 17, ammo plus 4. Let's do that. Okay, so he's resupplied. And that one doesn't need it yet. It's still got plenty of ammo. Now we could... So one of the things in the game here, and I'm not quite sure yet which is the best way to necessarily go with it. You can get replacements, which means we can bring it back up to full strength. So this unit that's down to 7, 70% right now. We could get regular replacements or we could get elite replacements. Now, elite replacements, you keep the same experience level, but they cost a lot more. So this would cost 36 of our 200 prestige to get elite replacements at 102 experience. We could get regular strength replacements would only cost nine prestige, which would reduce our experience to eight, uh, our experience down from 102 to 80 because they're raw recruits coming into the unit. I think at this point, because that's so little experience, I'm going to just take the regular troops and we're going to resupply that one. Good. So that one's all resupplied and everything. I'm going to do the same with this one. So we lose a little bit of experience, but... Uh, not quite sure again. I'm not quite sure if there's a general strategy with that or not. But anyway, let's do that. So we've reinforced the turns you reinforce or replenish. You can't do anything. We're back up to full strength. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's the end. Yes. So there you have it. We have uh, we can view the battlefield here. It's basically that must have been. Oh, that was some kind of a supply unit we never saw. But apparently we got. Ah, uh, oh, darn it. That would have been nice to take out. Would have been more points and stuff like that. Um, can I go back here? A brilliant success. You've delivered a major shock to the Italians and made a mess of their logistics at the frontier exactly as we hoped. The damage you've done is certain to make them even more cautious. But your attack did more. It revealed a weakness in them that we dot did not fully anticipate. The poor fellows don't seem to be quite so keen for the task. Therefore, it might be time to act a bit more aggressively. We will continue on at some point. So that is the end of this first episode. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll go on to the 14th of June where we press our advantage against the Italians now. Again, if you would like to take control of a unit, put your name down below and say, I'd like a unit and we'll label one of these units, the core units after you, and you can be part of the story. Thanks again for watching. Feedback is always welcome. If you've enjoyed the episode, uh, please give it a thumbs up so we can get it in front of more people. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hopefully this will be a nice long journey about 20 to 40 episodes where we go all the way through and can make it to Berlin. Fingers crossed uh, if the, uh, the war gods are with us, we might make it that far. Have a great day. See you later.